good morning friends i warm welcome to all of you in the lecture of mechanics of solids uh, up till now in the previous classes of mechanics of solids what we learned let us we uh, think and let us be discussed within the stipulated minute of 5 minutes and then we will proceed in the topic of bending stresses in beams so up till now in the previous lecture we learned about the types of supports and types of beams types of loads acting on the beam determination of support reactions plotting of shear force and bending moment diagram of statically determined beams concept of bending stress in section modulus also the concept of bending equation and moment of resistance so after studying this section you will be able to do following draw the bending stress distribution diagram and calculate the maximum bending stress in a given section calculate the bending stress with symmetrical and unsymmetrical section now let us we do revise the things that we have studied up till now in the chapter of bending stresses in beam question may arise what is bending stress if we take any section of a beam and consider the free body diagram on either side we find that there must be the three internal stress resultants at the section in general to maintain the equilibrium of free body these internal stress resultants are equal and opposite to the external effects of load on the sections particularly named called bending moment shear force and axial force so in this chapter we are discussing the effect of bending moment refer the figure a uh, simply supported beam subjected to the external loading and if we take a cross section over here and we divide our beam into two parts left part and right part and if we consider the left part so at a particular section the three internal resisting forces are developed in terms of v shear force and bending moment and h is the axial force so this bending moment developed equal and opposite forces at a particular section in terms of the compressive force and the tensile force and this forces developed the stresses at a section is known as the bending stresses hence under the effect of the lateral loads the beam bends and the longitudinal axis takes a curved shape the beam produces an internal resisting couple to balance the bending moment due to applied loads this couple is generated by the normal compressive and tensile forces in the section let us see over here a figure that what the bending moment does on the beam it causes compression on the one phase and tension on the other refer a simply supported beam with external loading the compressive stress is developed at a section on the top fibers while the tensile stresses will be developed at a particular section on the bottom fiber it also causes the beam to deflect now let us revise the bending equations that we have studied the basic fundamental equations that we have studied is m over i is equal to f over y is equal to e over r m is the external bending moment because of the application of external loads i moment of inertia of a particular section f bending stress at a particular location depth y below or above the neutral axis where y is the distance from neutral axis e that is young's modulus and r a radius of curvature of a particular beam so now we have discussed this theory also in the previous session 
Now section modulus, what is section modulus? Section modulus is defined as the ratio of moment of inertia of a section about the axis to the outermost layer from the neutral axis that is it is defined as ratio of i by y max where y max is the distance of the outermost layer from the neutral axis where i is the moment of inertia. Now the strength of section which is given by an equation m is equal to f max multiplied by z where m is the moment of resistance offered by the section that is the maximum bending moment. Also the moment of resistance offered by the section is maximum when the section modulus is maximum hence section modulus represents the strength of section. Now let us we see we have defined the section modulus of four known shapes. The first is the rectangular shape. What will be the formula of the section modulus? Let us be see. For rectangular section, the formula for section modulus is 1 by 6 bd square. For hollow rectangular section, the formula is 1 by 6 d bracket capital BD cube minus small bd cube by capital B and D are the outermost dimensions of the rectangular section while small and B and D are the inner dimensions of the whole rectangular section. If D is the diameter of circular section then for Z is equal to for circular section is pi by 32 D cube while for hollow circular section Z is equal to pi by 32 D bracket D raised to 4 minus D raised to 4 where capital D is the outer diameter and small d is the inner diameter of the given section. Now uh, let us we proceed for the further next problem up till now we have stopped in the previous class. In the previous class we have stopped with a problem of symmetrical I section. Refer the data. An I section shown in the figure is simply supported over a span of 12 meter. A beam simply supported span is of 12 meter. If the maximum permissible bending stress is 80 Newton per mm square, 80 megapascal, what concentrated load can be carried at a distance of 4 meter from the support? Let us we understood this questions very well first. What is the question which has been asked us? Question has been stated that a simply supported beam length of 12 meter known to us loading which is not given to you. Another thing is that the section that is my simply supported beam which is made up of I section which is sewn over here in this particular figure. And from the figure, it has been found that the given section is of symmetrical section about x, x and as well as y, y axis. As such, no need to find out the neutral axis as it is symmetrical section. We can find out directly that y bottom that is of 2 to 5 by 2 as well as y top that is 2 to 5 by 2 that is half distance from the top, half distance from the bottom as the given section is of symmetrical I section. Now, it has also been stated that the maximum permissible bending stress is 80 Newton per mm square. Question which has been asked, we have to found out a concentrated load which can be applied at a distance of 4 meter from the left support. It is we see the figure for the same see the figure simply supported beam which is given over here if I will cut a section the section which is of I section W is the concentrated load which is acting at a distance of 4 meter from support B let then what will be the value of W this is the question which is going to ask right now as the bending stress value which has been given to us hence we have to use the concept of bending stress so f max is given to us as 80 megapascal 
and let W capital W as the concentrated load carries at a distance of 4 meter from the support B in terms of Newton. Now to find out the maximum bending moment which will be at point C where the concentrated load is acting first we have to calculate the reactions at A and B that is very much interesting observation. The F max which has been given to us in this problem is of 80 megapascal. Now this will be resisted by a section at a location where bending moment is maximum. Now think a simply supported beam with the eccentric load, what will be the location of maximum bending moment? Obviously, it is at a distance or it will be under the point load itself. So, let us we found out the first support reactions by using the equilibrium conditions that is sigma v is equal to 0, we know Ra over here the reaction is Ra plus Rb is equal to W that is sigma V is equal to 0. If we use another equilibrium condition sigma Ma equal to 0 or sigma Mb is equal to 0, in that case we can able to find out one of the reactions. So, please observe over here taking moment about A rb into 12 is equal to w into 8. If you refer the previous figure, I have to take a moment over here, w into this perpendicular distance that is 8 is equal to rb into 12. So, from that we found out that rb is equal to 8 w by 12 that is equal to 2 third w. Now, how can I find out the Ra? Ra is nothing but the total load minus Rb, total load is w, w minus 2 third w is equal to 1 third w that is w by 3 that is my Ra. Now, maximum bending moment is possible under the point load that is at point C. If you refer the previous figure, the maximum bending moment which will occur at C. Hence, bending moment at C is equal to Ra into 8 or Rb into 4, whatever the answers remains unchanged, it is same. So, if we take Ra into 8 that is W by 3 into 8 that is 8 W by 3 is the answer of maximum bending moment which will be developed at under the point load at section C. So, we found out 8 by 3 w in terms of Newton into meter and if we converted this answer in terms of Newton into mm I have to multiply by 1000. So, bending moment at C we can achieve as it is of 8 by 3 w into 1000 Newton into millimeter. Now, this maximum bending moment is known to us. The next criteria because we know the fundamental formula m over i is equal to f over y the interesting target for us to find out the value of i. How to found out this value of i? Let us be understood it carefully right now. i is equal to 1 by 1200 into 225 cube minus 100 minus 7.5 into 225 minus 2 into 11.5 cube by 12. How this will arise? How this will be developed? Let us we see these things in the table top. For that, please refer this figure very carefully and let us we plot the same figure over here on the right now on the table top. So, this is the figure of I section which has been given to us. And as the given section is of symmetrical 100 mm, 
the overall depth which has been given to us is of 2 to 5 mm the thickness of flange is given to us as 11.5 mm and thickness of this wave which has been given to us as 7.5 mm as the given is symmetrical this is remaining as it is so now what i have to do to find out the value of i as i have to use the symmetry for the benefit for the calculation in the easiest point of view so what i did i will take this first part hold together I am considering this full rectangle so what is the I for full rectangle is 1 by 12 B D cube 2 to 5 cube this is the first answer now actually this portion is hollow I have to deduct how to deduct for that refer this one what i will do i will deduct now this portion i am going to deduct this portion so what is the available width that is minus sign 1 by 12 as the given section is of rectangular the available width as total 100 minus 7.5 is this one 7.5 this is my b into d cube what is overall depth is 2 to 5 minus 11.5 minus 11.5 minus 2 times 11.5 cube and this give me the true answer of value of i so i am using the symmetry the concept of symmetry to find out the value of i i wish now you have understood very well how i am going to find out the value of i please come to this particular ppt so this i the same equation of i that we have achieved on this table top and we found out from the calculation of i by using the calculator as 313